thank you so much for watching these videos. My name is Kamiya Simon Peter and let's proceed. Alright, so this is this is the second video. If you haven't watched the first video, please uh, do watch it uh, so that we can continue with our anonymous character project from beginning to end. So I'm going to take on this project until this character can talk, do actions. That means we shall go up to rigging. Now, um, I haven't decided yet if she'll be rigging with cut or with bones, but we, we are yet to see. Okay, all right, let's continue. And um, I'm going to do more divisions here on the face, on the eyes. Okay, so I'll do choose that and choose show end results. So more divisions up there. So I'll do connect. Sorry, I must first click ring, then connect. So I have to up there and then again select this two ring connect. Then this two ring connect. All right. So at this moment, before I continue, I usually want to quit the other side, of, uh, the back of the head. But um, let me first put things right. Okay, so that I'm sure I have a round shape. This needs to be straight. Uh, that usually determines, uh, usually the, 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 the center of the eyes uh, determines the, the middle of the head. Great. So all I have to do is extract some more. All right. So I'll press Alt to unselect the others. Then press Shift and then extrude. All right. So I'll move my extrusion on the other side, just like that. Um. It's, it doesn't matter much, but um, at least we know we have the flow, so everything becomes easy. We just need to do a pull back, you know. Mm, but um, the pull back should be less. Uh, I haven't got the eyebrows and you know the shape of the eye very well. But no worries as such, because everything will be. Are rhyming and flowing so soon. Once you achieve the sh the, the the gaggle eyes and the and the mouth down, everything becomes simple. Once you achieve the gaggle eyes and the mouth down, everything becomes simple. So that's why it's always our first target to achieve those.
Okay. I just got silent a bit there. <laughs> All right. So I'm pulling do think I need to pull these up to to move them a bit forward. Great. All right, so I'm going to pull um once again. I do need to make a target wall for this. And then I need still another line down here. Right, so I'm going to pull once again, so um, extract to be exact. So that I'm done with the ring of the face and then we'll concentrate now on the other upper part of the head. All right, so press shift and then extrude and then move aside a bit, just like that. So for that case, I'm very sure now I have the lower part of the nose well joined. And then the upper part. So I'll do another extraction. Um, like that. No worries. And we still have another extraction down here. So I'll select that and then remove this. Now my wall is now having the right fascia flow. Okay. But, um, but the shaping of the head includes this. Great. So I need another uh, that is going to come, you know, around the mouth as I join those two parts. Okay. Of course, this needs to target well to that. Or we could even now have um, this flow come around the tip of the nose like that. Okay. It depends. So I can get this and I bridge with that, bridge, this, I still have I think what it is there, that, um, okay, I need to know which vertices are there. Alright, so this can bridge with this part of the nodes. That will have created a certain loop down there that will be um, going to the nodes. So this can bridge with this. This can bridge with this. See that? And then we continue like that. Right, so I still think I for one, I need more loops here. All I need to just uh, reshape that because we don't need to have so many um fascia points okay we don't need to have so many so many is not the flow but having the flow is the right thing to do and then i'll move this okay this is the middle so which means i can move this down like that so I can do bridge these two, bridge, then I continue extracting for the rest. And still, I still have a baboon or elephant in the shape. <laughs> I still need to move certain things uh, behind to get that nice flow. All right, so I'm going to do a target world for this. Well, this to that.
move it backwards move this backwards and not so much because i'm uh, at this moment we're looking at the brows now that part of the the eyebrows above the eyelid okay so i'm just first uh, pulling things but you know uh, that we need to do a reshape in most instances um so i'm going to pull this part forward like that Just like that, then this a bit uh, and onto the inside. Okay. great we're doing great we're doing great we're doing great bad we can continue shaping and I'm also going to add a turbo smooth to see come on not bad so all I have to do is pull some of these, um, uh, bulge some of those parts and it's something I can do in ZBrush. Um, I think I'll do that uh, in the next video and then we'll come and continue with the other uh, face of the head. Alright, so... So I'm going to uh, keep modifying the eyes. I'm just going to scale them up a bit. I just need the perfect round cartoon eyes. My bad. Right, and then I'm also going to do a uh, pull this inside down because I want him to have you know a perfect round head. All right, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, let's meet in the next video where we're going to take him to ZBrush, do some formulations, and then I'll bring him back here and then I'll put, put things right. 
and then uh, let me first put this way because it happened when I was doing the scale okay I just need to make sure it's on the perfect line so I need it on the x-axis great uh, even the one below I just need to make sure that it's on the x-axis great all right so let's meet in the next video do not forget to support this channel become a patriot or even do a one-time donation on or even if you want to be a sponsor you can contact us um the links are down below in the description all right so um i'm now recording over a, a speed video because i discovered that the time wouldn't be enough so I'm creating the back of the head and what I've started with is a tube in a box and then I made the turbo smooth on top of it and I gave it two iterations. Alright, so uh, I'm fixing uh, the pivot point to make sure that it's centered and then deleting off the front part so that I can have the other rounded part of the, the head. Now, I'm going to be using ZBrush tool to formulate it finally because I already have the fascia flow at the moment now. Alright, some little bit of scaling and positioning. And then next would be attaching. So the two are now attached together. You can see they have the same green color. And positioning now the element okay so it takes uh, more time you must do a work around but uh, if you have the right fascia flow now everything will be easy to, to really join so I'm expanding more of the vertices to have more vertices that, that go around uh, the eyebrows you know uh, to that, that position of the forehead Okay, so some little bit of pulling there. Now, uh, it does no good to have vertices that are running from the forehead. We don't need a, a, a lot of resolution behind, like lots of vertices, you know, at the back of the head, because we're simply not going to move anything at the back of the head. So, uh, uh, I'm trying to minimize the vertices that go to make a loop uh, behind the head by creating um, uh, four polygons, you know, and making sure that the loop goes round. So, uh, so I weld vertices and then join them together like you can see, so that I have one loop that could go round the head to the other side. Okay, so um, this will depend on the character that you've created and uh, from uh, the few things that you began with. Uh, with other, you'll see with other my um, with my other videos, where I'm creating, uh, for example, a, a pig, where I'll be creating a monkey. You'll see that it's still the same fascia flow, but it depends on what you really want to have. Uh, uh, beginning with the resolution on what kind of movements you're planning for so now working on the uh, on the lower part that, that's the chin now one of the biggest mistakes I did there was to have too much resolution uh, um, just below the chin there so I must find a way of resolving it and I'll be you know reducing some because I, I don't need so much movements uh, first of all secondly um, the, resol the, the resolution uh, uh, below the chin, uh, at least most of the, ch uh, the movements of the jaw, do not affect so much of the neck. So that's why I'm trying to resolve uh, the vertices there to create a loop that, you know, stops just under the chin and goes round. Uh, and then uh, I try to eliminate having a lot of resolution that will affect the neck in case I want to move the jaw. Okay, you can see now it's a matter of planning on how uh, you want your loops to, to go around.
do not forget to subscribe share like become a patreon as if you want to sponsor you can also sponsor this channel right i'm, I'm also going to be resuming uh, my videos um, of uh, the, the max sdk okay because i now have a good machine to do that okay so um just before we do anything um with zbrush i want to uh, let you know that zbrush oh, okay i'm trying uh just a moment um you can see i've tried to create a loop there so that i, I because i had uh, like five polygons so I, I wanted to find a way of resolving so that i could remain with them for ages and then connect them so in, in ZBrush, you know the scale value is not the same with the units here in 3ds Max. I remember if you remember in video 1, we had to have a scale value. Alright, so uh, I've combined uh, symmetry and then after combining symmetry there, I had to make an inset and then I extruded the net. So I have to scale it down so that um, when I take it to ZBrush, you know uh it's it's matching at least with the brushes in zbrush so that's why I'm, you do you're seeing i'm scaling so i had to go to the pivot and then choose i uh, use working pivot and then affect the pivot so that i can have something so i'm adding resolution on the neck right so you can see that now in zbrush the brush is big enough so i choose move topological so you've seen that i had some open edges and that's what i'm trying to fix here right it has updated i'm um, i'm using gozi with 3ds max 2018 so i'm trying to give now the character head a good shape because i already have the flow so i'm using uh, the smooth you in zebra you press shift uh, and then you paint and i'm also using move topological and the move tool to give uh, the character a good shape all right so you can see it's formulating out well since i already have a good fascia flow it becomes easy okay all right so you can see i have to update the side parts i'm removing extra vertices and uh, i'll do uh, i'm doing a back and forth and reshaping again uh, because if i send it back you know it won't uh, have that original values so Now shaping is easy because I already have the fascia flow. Okay, so I'm now giving uh, the nose uh, volume, the eyebrows or the eyelashes. the cheeks okay because i already have the fascia flow so it becomes easy when it comes to these parts because uh th they will be actually moving uh, to the sides uh of the vertices so you can see how easy it becomes okay so more volume so at this moment it's about adjusting and giving the right shape okay and then uh, I've, i haven't done a fully uh, uh, you know for example you can say i haven't worked on the eyes so well those are certain things that i'm going to complete but i'm just defining the shape that i feel that my character should really follow all right so then i use gozi to take it back to 3ds max now my 3ds max has issues I will never use Gozi uh, because the version is, is different from the one of 2018. So uh, uh, it, it has to launch another 3ds Max. But however, it does create or it does uh, bring back the, the character, the new character, uh, um, and works out a good shape. Okay, so I'm trying now to redefine the shapes. 
here i can add more volume i can do anything but you can see i'm working on at only one side which is the uh, right side facing to me which, which will be uh, the left facing the other side and i'm trying to bring those uh, kind of muscles uh, for example when the character smiles so i'll just do a, a symmetry and then delete the other side and everything will be matching so i'm trying to work on you know the smiles the nose <coughs> Okay, now working on the eyes so I do um, uh, so what I've done with the eyes I've done I've chosen what they call the border and then I had to shift X shift like shift scale down to get that inner volume because I don't and I, at that moment I no longer want the gaggle shape and then I've added more of the volume okay so that i get that part of the eyebrows now i'm creating the ears now the ears i usually don't spend a lot of time on the ears but i create a cylinder and then give it more volume and then uh, some sort of rotations there you know uh, because it's uh, it's something i can sculpt okay but i just make sure that i avoid having uh five five polygons so i'm trying to have to make sure that i have Four, four polygons then I'm going to delete the back side because no one usually sees that but I'm joining it so that I can have some little extrusion okay so no one sees the back side so it's about scaling so I'm going to have some extrusion there and then it penetrates uh, through the head so I attach so I'm going to delete the other side now uh, when I'm done uh, so that I take when I take back to ZBrush it's just easy as using a brush and then formulating everything so you can see I've added symmetry and I've uh, I've added symmetry and I'm pulling it back to ZBrush See, so Gozi will update Okay, now it begins with um, masking uh, uh, old parts so that I can work on the new parts that I've just created. It's still using the same model saved in its system. Okay, as you can see, so I'm trying to also extrude the eyes. Just like that, you already have the character. Once you get the first facial flow uh, from the first video, that's why the first video took us some time. To get the first facial flow we're getting the nose we're getting everything okay so here is some smoke you can see now the character is get, get gaining shape okay and the move topological if you are if, if you use the move brush it means it will move every other item it sees uh, with the body but move topological will move only one part of the topology so um now one thing with with welding it uh, um asymmetry it brings issues with welding to the center so that's one one other issue so i do usually uh remove the extra vertices because these vertices are, are, are caused by zbrush um when, when it's trying to weld uh, these vertices to the center all right so i'm pulling in the mouth so that I get some kind of uh, extrusion uh, intrusion it will be an intrusion to, uh, to pull the, uh, the, the mouth inside and then have that kind of um, the, the inside part of the mouth and I'm also having volume okay on the lips just like that we have a character now all right so working on the sockets on the eyes pull them back a bit so you have the sockets right so here the, the rest of it is like working on magic because you already have the facial flow so it's giving volume now right so I usually want uh, the character to have uh, 
uh, extruded eyebrows for exaggeration so that's what I'm adding here so that they are easily identifiable now in most cases uh, some of my characters are, are having bald heads because my uh, my computer cannot work around with hair okay so I do make sure that I, I make uh, what is supposed to be unique I make it unique so that it's easily identifiable from the rest Right, so you can see uh, more volume on, on that on the muscles there to give him a smile, but not to make him old. So in case he smiles, it's easy, you know, uh, to pull in. Okay, so working on one side, then the other side you just need to add symmetry. And I was working on top of, on top of the turbo smooth, uh, just to see how it will look, how the end result would look like. Now at this moment, it's like defining uh, the actual muscles and shapes of the character, because you already have the facial flow, and you're just uh, defining those things that you feel should do should be identifiable with the character such as the long chin the cheek what kind of forehead the eyebrows so all i've done is just uh, create a symmetry there okay after deleting the other side and you can see everything is now uniform on both sides okay so take back to zbrush then update the necessary all right so i had isolated vertices there those come come uh, when you do a collapse and it's easy to eliminate them so th those are some of the things you need to be always aware of and then do the shaping again now of course uh, I've portrayed the chins uh, I've portrayed them um, uh, the cheeks so much I'll have to reduce to smooth them out and then working on the lips okay so it's now going back to a 3ds max and coming back to zbrush just like that you make sure you define the right points that you feel the character should have all right so i have an open edge there i think it's caused by uh, the welding uh, uh, during the joining of the symmetry some points were uh, meeting at a certain threshold uh, beyond the mirror so they went into each other but it's something that you can always you know work about and then you continue with your character creation so you when you're working with um, a character from zbrush you must uh, try to identify such issues because they usually occur uh, and then zbrush inverts some of the vertices there are still more open edges at the top but zbrush has already done a very great job and then those open edges you know if not identify it's better you identify them because uh, they'll cause issues uh, when you're doing um, when you're doing um, UV unwrap and you discover them oh it's hectic after you doing UV unwrap and then you find somewhere uh, a certain character so I'm um, creating the eye I, I created the a, a sphere and I've just mirrored the sphere the other side so I want to take both of them to ZBrush okay so they are not appearing all I have to do is uh, select them so I have to reselect them like in ZBrush and then position them well uh, because they are among the new items um, up there so it took me some time to figure that out <laughs> because it was working already on the topology that is existing and I was like where are my eyes so I had to go up there and select them as spheres and then add them as sub tools uh, so my bad it took me time to figure that out <laughs> right so all you have to do is go and click 
uh, on them or you, you click to add them as a sub tool okay oh my god it took me some long time to figure them out so you say i did only one that is one eye and then i'm working on that eye now do not forget that in zbrush you're supposed to work on symmetry okay so that what happens on one side also happens on the other so i'm trying to make sure that the the, the eyelashes the eyebrows uh, uh the eyelid fits very well on um, onto you know the socket of the eye and then goes here again so at least the shape is touching everything in the lower lowest topology right so i'm taking it back but it's not all right so do not forget to subscribe do not forget to subscribe and give us those likes so i bring back the head into 3ds max using gozi okay and then i want to give my head some sort of color you know so that i can have a preview of how the eyes would look like with the character but you can see on adding a turbo smooth we have a working character there 